Welcome back, everyone, to the coverage of YC's Bologna 2024. I am joined by Landon Oliver, who, of course, is a pretty big name in the community as he has just won back-to-back -back YCSs over in America. How are you feeling today, Landon? Uh, I'm feeling really good. Uh, I love the venue here. Uh, this is my first European event. And, nice. Uh, the people are really nice here. Uh, yeah, I love the vendors. Everything's been going good so far. The Sounds about good. right. Yeah. And we are now going to play against each other in an episode of Caster vs. Master, playing the 2005 Time Wizard format, right? Yes. So I would say, let's get to the top-down camera and let's get this rolling. Speaking of rolling, let's roll the dice first of all. You can all go right. first, Bear. Sounds good. Two die high. All right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just fix okay. the mic a little. And then we have a high roll coming. That is going to be... Ooh, seven. that's a seven. Let me try Solid. now. Seven is very solid, I have to agree, but I have a nine, a so seven. I will try to go first on that. Yep. Sounds and good. Uh, speaking of first, how did it feel to win your first YCS? Because that's not too long ago, right? No, not very long at all. Uh, so which one was it? It was uh, YCS Niagara. Yes. Yes, it was, uh, it was amazing to say the least. It was just so cool to see all my friends around, playing a deck that I love, uh, just having so much fun with the new cards as well. For sure. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, funnily enough, you were to the World Championship before you won a YCS, right? Yes. That's yes. pretty, pretty sick. You had an amazing year. You were yes. at the World Championship qualifying for that. And then also, of course, now with the Snake Eye cards, you have found like a really, really good connection playing that Snake Eye Fire King deck. So I will draw for six cards, first of all, because that's how you do it in Time Wizard. Yep. And I will just uh, set one and also set a monster. And you can take it over from there. All right. Sounds good. I will draw for my turn. Sure. Draw face, stand by me. You're good. Um, <laughs> let's start it off with a convulsion of nature. Ooh, okay. What have you brought to me? <laughs> <laughs> Is this good to resolve? Um, actually, let me double check on the convulsion of nature. Let's no worries. <laughs> we're just going to turn our decks upside down, huh? Yep. All right, let's turn our decks upside down then. <laughs> let's do it. I have a Thunder Dragon there, and you have a Spell, I have a reproduction. spell reproduction. All right. Turning things upside down is actually a good segment, as, for example, you before <laughs> going to the World Championship and everything, you were really big on Pearly, right? That was like yes, your yes. main deck. I love that deck. And you had so multiple fun. successes with that as well, right? Yes. How many YCSs did you top with that? Uh, I topped three YCSs with, with Pearly, yes, prior to Snake Eyes. Yeah, but what made you change, man? Because then you made the switch, and then it clicked. Then you won two YCSs, and then was the moment you really started rolling. Yeah. Right? Uh, I think the main thing that changed was like just the format in general. Like okay. I didn't like Rescue Ace, and I think that Pearly Stray Street played really good into the mm -hmm. format because it literally just soloed that deck. Like I could Fair. play that in a quick play and then just break the board by making Zeus. So like that was a big selling point for the Pearly deck. And uh, I also like how like not everyone knows what the cards mm -hmm. do as well. Yeah. So like I could get extra value off of my like Happies, and the OTK oh, yeah. was really cool with that deck too. For sure, yeah, it's a great deck, um, absolutely. But with the release of uh, Popular, uh, I wanted to play the Snake Eye deck, and I've just stuck to it ever since. <laughs> I mean, and, you yeah. did pretty well with it, so yes, there's yes. no excuse to dropping it right now. All right, so our decks are upside down now, so let's see how this is developing. Um, okay, after that, I'm going to go <laughs> Pot of Greed. <laughs> You know what? Go ahead. <laughs> I will draw. What are you draw. doing to me here? That's crazy. All right. It's a giant grenade waiting for me there. <laughs> and uh, for my next trick, I will go upstart goblin. Okay, I gain a thousand life points. Here we go. I'm and I'm ahead of life points now. <laughs> but yes. You get the giant grenade there. That's still scary. Let's draw one. But yeah, so uh, burial. for this season then. Just back to Worlds, is that the plan? Or yes, what's currently yes. on the that radar? Yes, that is all that I'm doing this for, is to go back to Worlds. That okay. is all I want. What was the final result at the World Championship this year? Uh, I finished 12th. Oh. Uh, I was X3. Uh, yeah, it was just kind of rough. Like, I got Lacrima burned. Okay. Um, you were close. So, yeah. and when you and were the so beast, close. The Ritual Beast deck was so good into my oh. deck. He had a call by and Book of Eclipse Ooh. for my board. So you lost so, to Julio yeah, on last rough. round. I see, yeah. I see. That's crazy. But I mean, when you are so close, it gives you even more energy because you, you haven't yes. gotten that yet, so you still won that thing, yes, right? And so I mean, you bad. won two YCSs after, so you're on uh, your way to maybe get back there. Uh, you drew that. Okay, so let's continue. I'm now <laughs> well equipped with 9,000 points, uh, life points. <laughs> um, let's go spell reproduction, and oh I will my. send uh, two Tune Worlds. Okay, so you send two Tune Worlds to do what exactly? Uh, it will select a spell from my graveyard and add it to my hand, and surprisingly enough, I'll add back Pot of Greed. 
you do yours and <laughs> get the pot of greed back going. <laughs> this is hilarious. So did you play back in the day? Uh, I did not. Okay. Uh, at, at locals, though, I, did, mm -hmm. I have played a lot like with my friends. Cool. And even my dad, he played. Wow, uh, that's Go, cool. Or uh, 2005. Uh, yeah, it's fun. That's really, really cool. Uh, <laughs> How about again? activating another pot of greed? Go ahead, go ahead. OK. Drawing the funny thing is, I, I see what's coming now. I'm not surprised <laughs> by the cards you're drawing, which actually makes it more enjoyable for me because I know what's happening. OK. Giant True Knight back on top. All right. Um, let's go uh, a Feather Ooh. of the Phoenix. Yeah. I will be discarding Spellbook Organization. And I will target Pot of Greed to put Let's it to the top Pot of, of my Greed deck. number three. Okay, okay, okay. But you have to get it somehow now. Is there a way to now draw another card? You only have three cards left in hand. I mean, you're you're doing a lot, but maybe I'm still in this. Um, I Possibly. think you are because okay. I'm just gonna go end phase, and that's you're up going to you. end phase. That's great for me. Great yes. news. I, I get to draw my thunder. <laughs> Look what's up there. <laughs> Look what's up there. We got the thunder dragon. You know what? I will. Use it. Yep. And I will get. Okay, only only <laughs> oh, one, but I'll, so I'll cool. take them both. I'll take them yep. both. There we go. Thunder Dragons for me. Shuffling with nice this card up is kind of funny, yeah, right? Because we are here is. to see what's up top, right. anyways. <laughs> okay, let's, let's turn it around. Okay, oh, Heavy Storm up one. there. So actually, I will show a couple more cards because Graceful Charity oh, is man. coming next. Okay. Okay. They, they all don't seem particularly good. Oh, no, the Pot of Greed not for me on top. What's going on here? Yeah, I'll pot just of get rid both of, our decks. of Thunder Dragon and, you know what? Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon. Yep. <laughs> just all the Thunder Dragons Pretty in the graveyard bad. now. And then we will go for, you know what? I'll take the Pot of Greed. Give okay. me the Pot of Greed now yep. as well. And I will keep on going. Yep, Give yep. me the tribe. And an absurd goblin for me now as well. Oh, Mirror Force. How good is Mirror Force against your deck, though? <laughs> and you know, that smile up there is kind of making me anxious, to be honest. That pot of greed sitting up there. I don't know how to feel about that. But honestly, I will go. Just go ahead and bring the breaker out as well. Oh, man. Very good. I mean, that's quite a bit of a attack points, but. I'll go into the... Yeah, so effect two to make it 1900, yep. and then I will attack for 1400 and 1900, making it uh, 33 points of damage. Yep. Uh, so we'll you will go to five t uh, 57. No, 47, actually. Yep. 47 it is. And then... So I'm at 47 to your 9. Yeah. And you know what? I'll use a breaker on the convulsion. Yep. I, I can't see that <laughs> smile anymore. I I'm sure it will return, but let's see for now. We're going to... Uh, have it there. I'll set one and pass things back over to you. You get okay. another chance for your pot of greed, I guess. Sounds good. I will draw for turn. Yeah. But so you said you didn't play back in the day. When did you pick up competitive Yu-Gi-Oh? Competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, I started playing Duelist Alliance. So Duelist Alliance, uh, Clefor, Shadal, and Burning Abyss. Fair. Yep. Okay. And did you have major success from the beginning, or was it a uh, Rocky start, and then you grind yourself into it, or how did it look? Uh, I, I think it's a little bit of both. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I just started from locals, and then just grew my way up from there. Fair. And like my locals was always good. Like I had known players there. Cool. So like I like always had that competitive like yeah. taste at locals mm. as well. So. You yeah. get tested even at locals, which is yes, good. Yeah, right. when the environment is correct, you're going to grow as that. So when did your first regional top then? Was it like shortly after or? Um, it was Zodiac format. Oh, okay. Yeah. So a little bit. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. I bring that pot of greed on me. <laughs> um, let's go. <laughs> Reload. Okay, we're reloading. <laughs> wait, wait. We're giving up the pot. Oh wait, no. You can decide which cards to shovel back, right? All right. Go ahead. I'm putting back all three. Wait, what? What's happening to the Pot of Greed here? Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. The, <laughs> true, yeah, true. The royal. Actually, I did. <laughs> yeah, it was, In my that breaker was, was still a lot there. better than you thought it was, for sure. Absolutely. All right. So really you're going for there. three new for cards three. with the reload. All right. There we go. One, two, three. three. What is it? And yeah, then first YCS that you attended. Which one was it? Uh, my first YCS I attended. I don't even think I can remember. Uh, Which it was year? definitely with my family. Uh, oh. 2000 or probably Zoo. Probably Zoo. Okay, somewhere, somewhere around, around there. that yeah. time, I see. But that's such a cool story that you attended with your family together. You oh, see, yeah, is your dad still great. playing? Like the uh, current he still collects. Format? He still collects. Oh, that's yeah. cool. 
Maggi is one of his favorite cards. Cool. Yeah. Um, let's go tune table of contents. Go ahead. Go ahead. 47 left for you. Hmm. Another one of them, sure. There is that. But uh, is it because you're you're so good in this format right now that you decide to now take on the journey to Europe as well? Or what was the factor that you decide now we're going to play European YCS with YCS Bologna this weekend too? Um, uh, I think it was like... It, it, it was a kind of like combination of like everything, to be honest. Probably like, friends telling you as well, yes. hey, you should come over to the European yeah. ones because they're pretty fun. Yeah. I see, I and see. And everyone kind of just like pushed me toward this way and I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. But yeah. Why I'm not, gonna, right? Yeah. And you said you so far have been enjoying it over here, huh? Yes, I love it. It's great. Yeah. I mean, Italy and Bologna are a good place to come as, as the first. Is it your first time in Europe overall? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. That's very cool. Okay, so you have another tune table of contents now, but what yes. is it going to do? Um, it is going back into It's going <laughs> into the graveyard as well. I'm trying to figure out what the plan there is with this, because I, I know there's versions of that that would just try to draw into Exodia possibly, but um, let's see what your plan is here. If you get to show it off. <laughs> I know. It was just such a rough start. The breaker <laughs> too is good. The breaker was really good, I agree. Um... All right, let's go Graceful Cherry. Okay, yeah, go ahead. That's fine with me. All the powerful cards from back in the day. Playing 2005 time Wizard Format always is a pretty special feeling because you have yes. those cards, right? Yes. Pot of Greed, Graceful. 100%. The crazy good old cards. Oh, my. Discard to... Did we get the Pot of Greed back? discard the uh, two... <laughs> Sounds about right. Um... But yeah, then at the moment when you're like, because you are definitely at the moment one of the most successful competitive players, you've just won back-to-back -back YCSs. Yes. And therefore, uh, what does a, a day of a player like you look like? Are you playing Yu-Gi-Oh! every day, essentially, just to stay in the groove and everything? Um, Yeah, but it's like more out of enjoyment. Okay. Like, it's not nice. like really like, mm -hmm. I'm forcing myself to do it kind of thing. It's like, a passion that yeah. keeps you driving. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. I just like, like playing it. That's cool. That's um, good to hear. Let's go. Set. Okay, now we're actually doing interesting things. And let's activate this compulsion of nature. Okay, let's turn it upside down again then. I have a mirror force to offer. I have a royal oh. magic. Oh, you needed that one at some point. And I will just pass to you. Hopefully you cannot out my set. Let's see. I'll get a mirror force here. Yep. And then I will go ahead and... Hmm, so you're on 47. I have a bunch of my light monsters in the graveyard, but yeah, I'll just go Nobleman of Crossout, and it's gone. Yep, that is Was it another good. library? <laughs> it is yeah. another library, I see. And I do have a tribe that yep. is 32, 40, 44. Wait, that's 100 off, right? I yeah. think you're on 100 <laughs> life points with that. There's no way. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm attacking. You go down to 100 Kay. life points, so you get another turn. Yep. And... All right, go. I mean, I'll set the mirror force. Yep. The honorable mirror okay, force, okay. let's see, and your journey is with the library. All right. The library and the dream. Mm. Oh, it's going back down. It is. Um, yep, your turn. All right. Drawing the Chaos Sorcerer. Yeah. And I will reveal that mind control that pr probably yep. seal the deal. I'm taking your monster, going to the battle phase. And yes, I have defeated the master there. <laughs> <laughs> the caster has tried to defeat the master. But that's a fun deck. So yeah. what's your what's your win con with this deck? What, what how are you trying to win? Um so the win con is obviously with uh, the convulsion of nature. Yeah. Um, it helps with the Archfiend Oath oh, because you can see course. the top. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, just add it. And since True Nate is at three, you just loop these two. You get the, the whole back game. and back over. I yeah. see. I see. And then uh, this obviously helps because uh, it gains more counters when you True Nate. Yeah. So you can just like keep stacking them, and then um, just a bunch of cards that like add back. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Put the no, no, put we, back I mean to we, the top. we saw that just yeah. without the the important library to keep it going and so on, right? Yep. But yeah. And the final thing that the oh, deck does the is reversal, with the reversal quiz, quiz and uh, with the black pendant there, 
Uh, you switch life points with your opponent, you send your whole field with this uh, equipped to tier monster, and you'll be at 500 exactly, so you burn your opponent for a game. That's yeah. hilarious, honestly. But yeah, Lennon. Thank you so much Good for games. joining me. Thank you so much. That again. was a pleasure yes. playing you. Yes, so and fun. I wish you best of luck in the Thank main you. event, of course, Thank as you. that is the main topic you're here yes, for this yes. weekend, of course. Let's see whether you can go for the back to back yes. to back here in yes, Bologna. Yes. I'm wishing you best of luck Thank for you. that. Thank Maybe you. we're going to see you again in the featured match area then for the main event. Sounds good. That is going to I'll be, be waiting. <laughs> you will be waiting, of course. <laughs> Maybe with the same deck again. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you so much for watching Thank this you. segment. And we are going to go back to the live coverage of YCS Bologna shortly.